Greetings, beloved light warriors. It's Saratoga, and this is your weekly focus card reading for the ultra powerful week coming up of December 21st through December 27th, 2020. Um, if you're a new subscriber, you should know that this is something I do every Sunday so that we can reset our focus and our energy for the coming week ahead. And then on Tuesdays and Fridays, I do my regular on-camera videos. All right, so let us get into this amazing week and this amazing reading. Now, as you guys, I'm sure you all know that Monday, December 21st, is the, the um, grand conjunction of Jupiter and Saturn plus the solstice. This marks a massive opening, a massive new gateway in our ascension journey. We are literally going into a completely different level. Now, I know a lot of people <clears throat> like to refer to this as shifting from 3D to 5D, <clears throat> and that's a perfectly appropriate way to mark this transition. Um, if you think of it as what many refer to as 5D consciousness. So what the card says for this reading is release. It shows a tree shedding its leaves. There is no way that we can shift into that 5D arena of life unless we release the 3D perception of who we think we are. So what, what more perfect card could we have for this week, right? Now, look at the, um, I don't know if you can see this in the video on this card, but um, there appears to be light shining on this tree with energy, tiny little energy particles in that light which signifies to me a very high vibrational light acting upon this tree. So clearly, obviously we already know this, right? This marks a, a complete upgrade of energy, an upgrade of high vibrational light in our world that is acting upon all of us. So the way in which it acts upon us is, is really, um, I can't think of the word. It's not demanding that we release or it's not doing anything. It's just kind of motivates you. It should motivate you to release because look at how simple the situation really is. If you're going to go from a 3D reality to a 5D level of consciousness, well, what's the first thing you got to do? You got to let go of your 3D perception of who you think you are. I mean, right? You can't have it both ways. And that's really what I think this is really saying to us specifically about this week. We have got to come to terms with the fact that we cannot continue with these false identities that we have adopted as a result of living on planet Earth and all the circumstances we find ourselves in here. We cannot move forward and continue to believe that we are who we've always been. You know why? Because who we've, who we've always been is a part of the old. Who, is, who we've always been is what got us in the difficult situation we're in in the first place. We cannot continue, we cannot afford to continue being attached to how we've always been. Because what happens is we think that how we've always been is who we are right now. And that's only true if we say it's true. Now, I, I like to put things, if you've been following me, you already know this, but I like to put things around these cards sometimes that further expand the reading beyond the card itself or enhance the reading or add to the message of the card. So today, now I haven't done this with the, the fabric. I don't usually think about that when I'm doing fabric, but today, I was very inspired to put green for a specific reason. This is the first time I've been inspired to do this with fabric, you guys. Green is the color of the heart chakra. It's the color of healing. So to me, the actual background here of green also has a message. It has a message that this is really important to understand. The only way to be able to let go and release your false identity, see, I'm sorry, I'm jumping around a little bit, but it's not about releasing your false identity, guys. It's about releasing your grip on your false identity, okay? Releasing your attachment to your false identity. The only way to do that is you have to shift your center of 
gravity, so, so to speak, from that false identity to something else. So what is the something else? There's nothing outside of you that you can shift to, okay? What you need to shift to is your heart. So this big green background is saying, hey, you guys, center in your heart. That's your anchor. When you are present in your heart, when you are awake in your heart, you will have the strength needed to release your attachment to your old identity. Because I know we all talk about how, okay, we see what's been happening in 2020 and we say, oh man, you know, all the systems are collapsing, everything's falling away. Um, but why would we be exempt from that ourselves as individual human beings? See, because if all this stuff is collapsing and falling away, and if that is indeed a part of the ascension process, our identities that corresponded to what is falling away also has to fall away. Now, that could sound kind of scary, right? But it's actually not. And you wanna know why? Because that identity isn't the truth. It's not who you really are. It's who you were conditioned to be. But it's not the truth. And guys, do you know how hard it is to maintain a false identity? It takes so much energy. It is so stressful. It's like your brain has to always be on guard for something that's gonna threaten that identity. I mean, it is crazy for us to live this way in the universe of so much unlimited potential. So let me focus for a moment here too on, if you, can, if you look closely um, at the base of this tree, you will notice there are like, I think there's like three flowers starting to emerge, which symbolizes um, new life. So the tree is shedding its leaves so that new life can emerge. And that new life is emerging <clears throat> at the base of the tree, at the root. So, <clears throat> pardon me, so that new life, which is who we are, will begin to emerge from our core. That light of who we are can begin to radiate and emerge and strengthen and become real in our conscious experience the more that we are willing to release our attachment to that old false identity. Um, now, let me say a little bit about these two crystals that I have here. The one to the left of the card is smoky quartz. And these, I think these two stones are so perfect for the message from this card. Smoky quartz is wonderful for grounding and clearing because the degree of clearing that we have to do, the degree of release that we really are called upon to do if we want to ascend, also requires that we feel grounded in that experience so that we don't feel like frantic and frightened and oh my goodness, what is happening to me? We want to feel grounded. Where do we feel grounded? Well, we feel grounded in our hearts, but also in our position on this planet. And specifically, I'll say to you guys, because most likely if you're watching this, you're probably a light worker or an awakening human being or something along those lines. So it's about being who you are on planet Earth, in your physical presence on this planet. That's where you're grounded. And then from there, Smoky Quartz is awesome for clearing, clearing out that old entrenched identity, all the junk that goes with it, all the traumas, all the stuff, right? So um, interestingly enough, Smoky Quartz will actually draw out that old energy and ground it into the planet where it can be transmuted. Smoky Quartz, as you probably know, if you're familiar with stones, is well known for protecting against negative energy. I'm not saying you need smoky quartz to be protected. You don't. But it's more to me, It's in terms of this reading, it's more like a message of you will be protected. When you release your false identity, when you let go, you will be protected. What's going to protect you? My goodness, you guys. What's going to protect you are the laws and principles of this entire vast gargantuan universe. Because when you let go of what is not the truth, and you align with the truth of who you are, you are in alignment with everything that is real. And if you don't think that's massive protection, it is by nature massive protection. 
okay? It's a given that it's protection. Truth is always more powerful than that which is not the truth, okay? It's kind of that simple. Okay, so the other stone is selenite. And selenite is really cool. I think these two stones are so perfect for this reading. Selenite is also known for clearing, but it really, um, it's really good. It, it like opens you up. It opens up an energy gateway to your higher self. It, and it actually can help to help your light body to be grounded into your physical body, into your physical energy systems. So think about how that all works together because that's really the goal of letting go. This is really a combination. What you're seeing here is a combination of um, messages, I guess you could say, that are all designed to support you in shifting from that 3D level of consciousness to that fifth dimensional level of consciousness and above. Let's not limit ourselves to what we interpret as 5D, okay? Let's let that be expansive and let's Let's reach our full potential to whatever level we are able to do so. So if you wanna just keep it real simple and look at it as, okay, this big gateway, this big um, grand conjunction, the solstice. Oh, let me, I just remembered one other thing I wanna mention about the solstice. The solstice is an interesting moment in time because it's like a pause where there's, um, it goes from, well, depending on which hemisphere of the planet you're in, you know, maximum light, if you're in the Southern Hemisphere, and if you're in the Northern Hemisphere, it's maximum darkness, and then it shifts. So there's a moment of pause where it shifts. So like, for example, those of us in the Northern Hemisphere, every day is basically getting more, more hours of darkness, more minutes, more dark, more dark, more dark every day. And then on the solstice, it shifts. All of a sudden, no, now the light is going to start to grow and expand. And correspondingly, the same thing happens in reverse in the Southern Hemisphere, so it's all in perfect balance. But what I want you to note about solstice is that it's a moment of shift. It represents a shift, and it, it's a shift into a different trajectory, if you will. It also represents a choice. I'm gonna be saying um, a lot more about this in my Tuesday video, but I'll just mention really quickly here about the choice, that it represents a choice. What direction are you going to go? What timeline do you want to be on in this ascension process? Because you guys, things are going to start to accelerate more and more and more. And as they accelerate, as this high vibrational energy enters our planetary realm, things are going to get more confusing for a whole lot of people. Events could get a lot crazier. But you know what? We don't have to worry about that. If we just get this simple message, we stay centered in our hearts, we release our false identity because the false identity is serving no purpose other than holding you back. Think about this. It's holding you back in an old world that is crumbling. You don't really want to be there, right? I mean, it's not useful anymore. It's not helping you anymore. So you need to refresh your being just like these trees do somebody's horns going off i hope you guys can't hear that but i'm just going to keep going anyway so you need to refresh your energy just like these trees refresh their energy by shedding the old leaves in the fall so that a new new life can emerge from the center being of that tree because where do those new leaves come from they come from within they come from the center of life in that tree so just like the tree gives birth to its new self in the spring, which is its new era of life. We human beings are meant to give birth to our new selves as we release our own false identity, as we release the old, as we release what is no longer useful. So um, yeah, I hope I got that last point across because that horn was going off like crazy and I hope you guys didn't hear it. It's a little bit distracting. So let me just say that one last point it just stopped thank goodness um so think about the the flow of energy in the tree the flow of energy comes from the center of the tree the center of that tree's presence and it radiates outward and as it radiates and expands as the tree is growing one season into the next it's like us humans growing evolving from one era to the next so as that energy of that center of that tree 
grows, emerges and expands, it pushes off those old leaves. It just releases them naturally. And then that energy comes out in the spring with new life and the tree is even bigger, it's fuller, it's more so, it's more evolved. And this cycle continues every season. So we human beings are also a part of nature. And we actually function in a very similar way in our evolution. So from our heart center, from being fully present and fully conscious, as we upgrade in our evolution through our ascension process, we naturally will find that that brilliant light, that intensification of energy motivates us to push away and release the old that's no longer useful so that now what can emerge is a more highly evolved being, just like the tree in the spring is more evolved than it was in the previous season. So I hope that makes sense to you guys. I was a little bit interrupted there, but I think I got it all out there for you guys at the end. And um, so this is really just to close this, um, close this up. I just want you to think about the imperative nature of releasing that old identity, old paradigms, old beliefs, old associations with the old reality that no longer exists. And um, that is a wonderful thing to contemplate this week as we move into this brand new, amazing, incredible era of potential that we all have as a human collective on this planetary earth. So I'm wishing you guys an awesome, powerful, inspiring, um, week ahead of amazing insights, amazing revelations, and let's let that expand more and more and more. As we release more, we shall expand more. Okay, so I'm sending you all so much love, and I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. Namaste, everyone.